This property in Fort Erie where two women were murdered sits empty with a bouquet of flowers on the front lawn today after Niagara Regional Police searched it this week. I mean, there's stuff that happens down here too, but uh, usually not this drastic. 20-year-old Juliana Panunzio of Windsor and 18-year-old Christina Brooks of Toronto were found dead at the home Tuesday following a gathering overnight that resulted in gunfire at the eight-bedroom rental on the Niagara Parkway. The killings sparked calls of justice and support online. A GoFundMe page was set up for Panunzio yesterday, saying on January 19th, 2021, my best friend was tragically taken away from us. Juliana was a sweet angel and a kind soul. Now, Niagara police couldn't say exactly how many people attended the home that night, but they said that multiple people were here, some from outside the region. Investigators released these photos Thursday showing a nameless food order with the number 923 written on the gray bag. The styrofoam containers had a cheeseburger, wings, fries and ketchup packets with the name Sunspun inside. Very few restaurants are open on Monday. The distinction is very obvious. Dennis Wilson owns the Lighthouse Restaurant at the intersection of Black Creek Road and the Parkway, a block away from the scene. He says the order did not come from his business since he uses styrofoam with checker tissue, white bags and carries Heinz ketchup. He says the unmarked takeout order is unusual. Not only is that a signature of the restaurant, but uh, when it gets down to finding the restaurant, it's a, a relatively small set of possible establishments. He says roughly three or four restaurants were open in Fort Erie that night, but believes it likely came from out of town. If it was delivered, I mean, there's a lot of places that won't deliver any more than like five, six miles, so there's not that many places around. Police have yet to determine if the killings were targeted or if any suspects have been identified. I did speak with the owner of the rental property this afternoon and he declined an interview. I also asked Niagara Police if there are any potential charges regarding the gathering and I've yet to hear back.